Hey Freedom, Pastor Michael here, and it's Friday, February 5th, and I've so enjoyed this week of uh, talking about engaging God and myself. At the beginning of the week, uh, on Monday, I-, I talked about God's Word at work and read from Psalm 19, and I, I just felt it appropriate to-, to finish off the week um, with talking about God's Word again, uh, just to- in a foundational way of the way that God's Word actually reads you. And so I don't know if you've ever thought of it that way, but did you know that, that God, God's Word actually reads you uh, maybe more than you realize and, and reads you more than you actually read the Word? And uh, there, there's an interesting uh, way that, that, uh, that the Word is talked about uh, in the book of Hebrews. I'm going to read it in a moment. Uh, recently, my, my mom came down to visit, and uh, she took uh, Ezekiel, our little boy, to the arcade, and uh, he ended up winning a thousand tickets. I mean, just awesome little experience for him. He was on cloud nine, and so they were going to the prize shop, and he made a beeline for a toy sword. Um, and it's just funny to me, I think, how boys gravitate towards weapons. Uh, in this case, it was a toy sword, and uh, he was just so excited to have it, and uh, he showed it to me when I when I came home, and He's just like, Dad, look, yeah, you know, like I can be a ninja and, you know, look how it cuts and it slices and it's real fast. And uh, I, I just appreciated the moment because I was like, yeah, I do. I, I appreciate a sword, too, in the way that it cuts and, and pierces and, and penetrates. And so in Hebrews chapter four, uh, when it talks about God's word, I'm going to read verses 12 and 13. And it reads like this. It says, for the word of God is living and active, sharper than any double edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give account. And so as you read through that, you recognize the activity of God's word and the way that it works in us. You know, so as we engage God by engaging his word, he actually engages us. And so in that engagement, I, I love really to see what the Lord does. Uh, you know, there, there's, a, there's a depth that the word goes to in our spirit, man. There, there's a way that it penetrates. There's a dividing that, that takes place, and that's okay. We, we need to learn how to embrace that in a greater way. And then to also think that the word judges us. It, it judges the thoughts and the attitudes. And then, it, th- then the word also exposes us. And, and I want to change maybe the way that, that we view that uh, and put it in a good light. Just to simply say that when God's word does this and we allow it to, it's a good thing. It's always a good thing because it's changing us. And, and my encouragement today is allow that engaging God peace. Allow the engagement of his word to shape and mold you and transform you. There is a transformative process that takes place every time we engage God, every time we engage his word and allow him to speak to us. And so I want you guys to put in the chat today, I have a question. What is God wanting to cut away out of your life in the year 2021? You see, the word has a way to speak into that. And maybe Holy Spirit, through, through the, uh, the fast that, that we finished uh, in January, uh, maybe God spoke something already so clearly to you. And I want you guys to, to put that in the chat. You know, uh, recently uh, I, I received a, a prophetic word and uh, the prophetic word uh, went a little like this. You know, Michael, God has created you a certain way in the way that you think. You're a processor and you like to think orderly and have things in order. And so, you know, you like to think through things in columns or... Um, or like to have your ducks in a row. And the, this was the interesting part of the word. You know, in 2020, God shot all of your ducks. And it kind of made me laugh, but it read my mail in a way of, you know, 2020 did not go at all the way that I thought. But it was a preparation, you know, for 2021. And the thing that I, I hear the Spirit continuing to speak to me or whisper to me is uh, remain flexible. You know, as, as, as my spirit is like wind and, and maybe will blow, you know, one direction this way and, and one direction another, you know, on, on a given day or moment, uh, just be willing to go there with me. Be willing to, 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 to be flexible with me. And so that's what God uh, cut away uh, in 2020 with is, is you know, uh, just, just process differently. You know, stretch your way of thinking with me. And, and I just want to encourage you uh, to continue that with God. As you engage him, he's going to speak. He's going to challenge. He's going to expose. And it's a good thing. 
And so I just want to pray with you today uh, as we conclude engaging God in myself. And so, Father, we just love you today. We thank you, Lord, for uh, the engagement of your word. And God, we just say we're okay with the way that you want to expose and speak and divide in our life uh, by your word. And we're we're thankful for it because we know uh, ultimately it's going to shape and mold us into your image. And so, God, have your way in our life today over this weekend. And as we step into this month of February, engaging you. In Jesus' name, amen. You guys be blessed today.